I saw an ad the other day offering around $500 to write a Google Chrome app. If only the person offering knew that it took less than 20 lines of code to do that. But let's just take the money and keep it our little secret. Google Chrome apps and extensions are tiny little web elements that are meant specifically to run in the Google Chrome browser. And if you go to this website, you can see tons of popular examples. So what does it take to make your own Google Chrome app or extension? It's actually surprisingly simple. All we need is a manifest. Chrome extensions, apps, and themes all run off of a manifest which is written in JavaScript object notation, or JSON. The JavaScript object notation uses brackets, colons, commas, and quotations to help organize and list values. So open up your favorite text editor and start by adding an opening and closing curly bracket. These brackets will enclose our program information. The first fields are required by all Chrome programs. It's the name, which holds the name of your program, the version, which can be any version number, 0.1, 1.0, 2.0, etc., and the manifest version, which is version number 2. The next field should be a description where you can give a summary of your app or extension. If you're making an app, the next field is the icons field, pointing to an icon for your app that we'll create later on. Since this one will be an app, we need to make an app field that tells that app what to do. So inside the containing brackets, tell it what URLs are associated with this app, which would essentially be your main website URL. And then what we want to do is launch our web page when the app is clicked. So after the launch field, put containing brackets with the web URL field set to the website that you want to launch. Now if all you want is an app, then you're done. All you have to do now is create an icon. And to do that, you can either go to findicons.com to download one, or you can create one with free software such as splashup.com. You want your icon size to be either 128 by 128, 48 by 48, or 16 by 16 or you can include all three of these sizes. But when you have it created, save it to a folder for your app and back on the manifest, create more containing brackets and list the size or sizes for the icons that you want to include. Now save this file as manifest.json to the same directory that you saved your icon to. So that was how to make a Chrome app. But what if you're wanting to make a Chrome extension? Well, it's basically the same process, but with a few more additions. I've created a template that you can download from here that's meant for people with YouTube channels so you can customize it to work with your own YouTube channel. Back in your JSON file, instead of using an app field, you want to replace that with a browser action field. This is where you can set your default icon and just remove the other reference to an icon. You also want to set a default title, which is basically the tooltip that pops up whenever someone hovers over your icon with a mouse. Lastly, you want a default pop-up field, which will point to a small little HTML file that we'll create later. This HTML file is what will pop up whenever someone clicks on the icon. In the template file that you've downloaded, you'll see the HTML file that you can edit to fit your YouTube channel. Basically, what it does is allow people to search your YouTube channel and view your recently posted videos. So if you open it up, you'll see that it's just a regular looking web page. You can change the title to match your YouTube channel and in the search form, replace this with your own channel name. At the bottom, you can add a link to your YouTube channel and add a logo if you want. You'll notice that this calls a JavaScript feed that pulls your latest YouTube videos. So in order for that to work properly, you need to edit the JavaScript file and replace this text with your YouTube channel name. All right, now save all these files to a different location other than your app folder. You can copy over the icon from the app folder to reuse it if you want. Uploading these to the Google Chrome store and testing them out is the same process for both. What you can do is either zip up the files and upload them to the Google Chrome App Store, in which case you'll have to pay a one-time $5 developer fee, or you can go to the Tools button in your Google Chrome browser, Extensions, Developer Mode, and choose Load Unpacked Extensions. 
Once that's done, you should be able to see your new app or your new extension. Then you can test them out and go back to your code to make any tweaks or changes as necessary. Now congratulate yourself on being an entry level web developer. Be surprised how many businesses don't know how to do this. If you make something cool, please let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, you can click here to subscribe or click here to visit my channel to view more cool tutorials. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. Until next time, hack some fun into your weekend.